Hello, I'm Dr. Mike Jones. I'm the Managing Director of Impact Minerals Limited. We're listed on the ASX under the code IPT. And we believe we've got a fantastic investment opportunity in a niche mineral that's not widely known, but is a very critical part of the energy transition and new tech that's uh, being developed right now across the world. And this is a picture of the Las Vegas Dome, for those of you not familiar with it. And it's covered in 1.8 million light-emitting diodes, or LEDs. And every, behind every LED is a small wafer-thin piece of artificial sapphire, which is a form of high-purity alumina. And as well as LEDs, the other big growth area at the moment is in semiconductors. HPA is used in a couple of areas to make semiconductors. One, it's used to help polish some of the silicon carbide and gallium nitride particles that are now used in semiconductors. And it's also used to help dissipate all the heat that builds up. And so you can imagine with all the AI di data centers that are being built right now, that the and demand for this material is growing quite dramatically. And finally, we are seeing now a resurgence in the use in lithium ion batteries, again, because HPA in its purest form is thermally inert and chemically inert, and also one of the hardest substances known to mankind. And it's being used to help stop heat buildup in many battery architectures. That market's growing at about 20% per annum at the moment. And it's a very exciting place to be uh, as we see technology developments across a wide range of industries. And we believe that we can transform the production of high purity lumina to be one of, if not the lowest cost producer globally because of two transformational acquisitions that we've made. First of all, a project called Lake Hope in Western Australia, shown here on the left, where we're going to dig up the mud from the top two meters of the lake and transport it to a pilot plant where we have recently purchased a 50% interest in a, a, a quite extreme, sorry, a quite exclusive technology, which we believe is a game changer for the production of high purity alumina. So those two acquisitions are going to set us up in the future. In terms of the lake, we're located about 500 kilometers east of Perth. We have plenty of material there in the top two meters of a salt lake. We're looking at something for at least 40 or 50 years of a mine life. And amazingly enough, the lake contains in the order of about $15 billion worth of uh, high purity alumina. And we drilled it out for a total cost of 150,000 Australian dollars using a rubber mallet and a plastic push tube shown here on the left. The material comes out naturally, very fine grained, doesn't need any on-site beneficiation. We're simply gonna dig it up and transport it to Perth where we will build our processing facility. We've recently completed our pre-feasibility study. It has world-class economics. For an average production rate of about 10,000 tons per annum, we're looking at a post-tax conservative NPV discount rate of 10% of about 1.2 billion Australian dollars. And we've used very conservative uh, product sale prices. And we believe that with a offset from potash as a byproduct, we will have a very low operating cost of about 4,500 US dollars a tonne. Those are excellent uh, economics, and we're now rolling into the definitive feasibility study. I mentioned that we have, post, we have purchased a 50% interest in a technology to produce HPA, and we believe that our lake material can be a very natural add-on to this. And uh, we have now uh, purchased an interest in a high-purity laboratory. It's a very critical part of any high-purity business. You need your own laboratory for a quick turnaround on assays. We've acquired a access now to a pilot plant that is almost on stream. It's almost uh, fully commissioned. Uh, by the end of this year, we will be producing uh, HPA. But the critical thing about the technology is that it's modular. We believe that we can build small plants in numerous places around the world, and that gets over one of the, the barriers to getting into uh, industrial minerals, which is funding your offtake uh, via debt. So building smaller plants in numerous places will make access to capital a whole lot easier. And importantly, once this uh, pilot plant is up and running, it will be only one of two companies on the ASX that's capable of producing commercial quantities of HPA. And that's an exciting place to be. The other company, Alpha HPA, currently has a market cap of, t of $1 billion. Our market cap's about $30 million, so there's a big uh, gap there for us to catch up. And uh, they're in the process of scaling up to 10,000 tonnes per annum. We've got a fantastic team. Uh, we've got a husband and wife team, Scott and Eugenia Fegan. Uh, they've built plants. Where they've got 50 years of alumina experience at uh, Alcoa. We've recently employed Joseph Casella uh, from Tianxi Lithium. He's our marketing manager. And on the side of High Pura, uh, through a company called the Luminous, we've recently appointed a chairman, Tim Nietzsche. He's uh, the chairman of Gold Road Limited, uh, just uh, under a $3.5 billion takeover from Goldfields. And we have David and uh, Nick, 
uh, who were the original inventors of the uh, technology coming on board to uh, to push that forward. So it's a very exciting combination. So as I mentioned, Impact Minerals, we're listed on the Australian Stock Exchange. Uh, we recently raised capital. Uh, we got about $4.5 million in the bank, and that is more than enough to uh, get us well into the definitive feasibility studies. We've always had very good support from two major German shareholders, a family office in uh, in Germany, and also Deutsche Balaton, who are a well-known investor across the uh, resources space. Uh, share price lagged last year, uh, along with uh, everything else, but of course, uh, we're seeing a massive turnaround in the market right now, and uh, we're looking to uh, certainly uh, raise that share price now going forward. We're seeing it about 0.6%, giving us a market cap of uh, 30 million. So there's plenty of room to grow over the next uh, year or two. So going forward from here, we have a very simple plan. We've acquired this pilot plant. We're finishing the commissioning. We'll have it up and running uh, by the end of the year. That's gonna make 2026 the year of getting uh, our engagement going uh, with customers looking for offtake. But the big thing here is that we're looking to scale up in 2027 into North America. Uh, there's a big demand there. We have some North American investors on the, uh, on the register. And uh, they're looking for us to uh, set up in North America 2027 and uh, perhaps looking for a listing on the NASDAQ at that point. So very exciting future there. So look, a combination of uh, unique project, unique technology. We aim to be one of the lowest cost producers of HPA globally. It's a unique deposit in a tier one jurisdiction of Western Australia. We have our now industry disruptive metallurgical process. The big area that we're building our capabilities over the next year or so will be in the, the uh, metallurgy of the pilot plant and also final product specification. It's a very important part of our customer inter interaction. And we hope that we're going to be delivering into this uh, high margin growth market with significant upside in about 2027. And we look forward to having you on the journey with us. Thanks very much.